Welcome to True Crime and Coffee Time. Today's coffee, well, protein coffee, is gonna have caramel crumb cheesecake by Skinny Syrup. We're gonna do, we do like two and a half, three pumps. Then we're gonna put our coffee that we brewed from the night before in here. I think this is a chocolate glazed donut coffee. Then we do a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I just used Silk Brand. And then a scoop of Truvani chocolate protein and shake it up. I drizzled my cup with dark chocolate espresso skinny syrup sauce just to give it a little razzle dazzle. Protein coffee of the day is a chocolate caramel. And I mean, what could go wrong? That's delicious. Okay, let's do true crime of the day. All right. Monday, March 20th, the Hart family crash part one, the hug felt around the world. In 2014, in the wake of the police shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, a photo of a 12-year-old Devontae Hart at a Portland, Oregon protest made headlines. The photo showed Devontae, who had worn his free hug sign in the protest in an embrace with a Portland police officer. Tears running down Devontae's face, the photo went viral, dubbed the hug felt around the world. Some found the image heartwarming. Others felt the image of a young black boy hugging a white policeman in full riot gear was an oversimplification of the rising racial unrest in the country. Devante's mom, Jen and Sarah Hart, oh moms, I'm sorry, he had two moms. Jen and Sarah Hart were overwhelmed by the response to the photo received. Along with the reporters waiting outside their homes, death threats began arriving. Along with the reporters awaiting and all this happening, some people hurled anti, you know, to moms things at their house while others insulted the large multiracial family so there's a lot of hate coming at them the woman decided to lay low with their six adopted children through that led to some eventually resumed protests and events and posting happy photos on social media four years later though their deaths would make headlines and that is where we end today so i believe we have tomorrow Wednesday. I think their story is going to go all the way until the weekend. So stay tuned. Come back tomorrow to hear more about the family because it seems like they didn't have it easy and it sounds like unfortunately they do not get their happy ending.